بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی اللہ محمد و علی آل محمد السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو آل ہوپ سو یو آل ول بی فائن انشاءاللہ ویلکم ٹو آور آن لائن کلاسز اگین ہوپ سو یو ہیو گڈ ٹائم اگین انشاءاللہ We have been studying unit 4, that is chorus. You need to come on page number 80 of your book, The Environment of Pakistan. Our today's topic is farming techniques. We discuss soil conservation practices in mountainous areas of Pakistan. We know soil conservation is a big problem to combat with this problem. We need to adopt different farming techniques to reduce soil erosion. Soil conservation practices are tools the farmer can use to prevent soil degradation. In Pakistan specifically, we are emphasizing on some specific farming techniques to reduce soil erosion, which are terracing, contour cooling, strip farming, and shelter bells. First, we will discuss Terracing. Terracing is soil conservation practice applied to prevent rainfall runoff on sloping land <coughs> from accumulating and causing serious erosion, which results into loss of fertile hair of soil. Steps are cut into steep hillsides, and the front of each flat terrace is edged, edged with mud or stone walls, which are known as buns. The buns hold back the water and soil. You can see these types of steps in this diagram also. Contour plowing is one of the wonderful practices of soil conservation. Following the natural pattern of mountain slope, crops are planted parallel to the contours on the hill of on the sides of the hill. It is flowing along the contours of the land in order to minimize soil erosion. It reduces the flow of water across the land surface, thus reducing erosion. It also increases soil retention that encourages root development, specifically in mountainous areas of Pakistan. So it means con contour farming. The practice of tilling sloped land along lines of consistent elevation in order to conserve rainwater and to reduce soil losses from surface. Strip farming is another method being adopted to conserve soil conservation. To conserve soil, this cultivation in which different crops are sown on alternate strips to prevent soil erosion. It is sort of cultivation in which different crops are sown in alternate strips to prevent soil erosion. Strip farming when two or more crops are grown in the same field. Sometimes one crop may grow under the shelter of a taller crop for the sake of protection. This method involves planting broad strips of several crops in the field. Each strip is three to 9 meter wide on slopes the strips can be laid out can be laid out along the contour to prevent erosion the next year the farmer can rotate crops by planting each crop strip with a different crop now we'll discuss selective cutting which is basically a solution of deforestation and also helpful to conserve soil by improving healthy forestry. So selective cutting helps in more sustainable forestry. It is basically harvesting of selected single or groups of trees. It has some advantages as it reduces crowding of trees, promote growth of younger trees and allows more natural regeneration and it is also more environment friendly. Some disadvantages can also be there like it is expensive 
uh, as the countries like Pakistan because we can, cannot invest on larger scale in these types of practices plus removal of some trees by machine usually damages others. In Pakistan we know that mountainous areas have different climatic conditions as compared to western mountains because northern mountains are wetter because they receive plenty of rainfall while western mountains are dry because amount of rainfall is less and unreliable. Now we discuss the practices to regenerate the soil by adopting different techniques. First we discuss the northern mountains. So regeneration of soil is easier in deforested wetter areas like the northern mountains then dry areas of the western mountains and Balochistan plateau. So protection of soil in northern mountains where there is a wetter climate and steep relief, steeper relief. Following methods are being practiced. First one is afforestation on steepest slope. Afforestation means we need to grow new plants and more forestation. Terracing on steep slopes, we need to develop steps to conserve soil in these areas. Then contouring on more gentle slope where we need to follow the natural pattern of mountain elevation to grow more plants and forests. Hedgerows should be replanted. So hedgerows are uh, those borders or borders of fields with the uh, shrubs or small plants which protect soil soil region. Strip cultivation with alternate crop in same area and crop alternated with grass to prevent over cultivation and soil exhaustion. We have discussed soil conservation measures being practiced in northern mountains of Pakistan. Now we see the protection of soil in western mountains as well as Balochistan plateau which are having dry climatic conditions and unreliable rainfall. So first step that can be taken is planting of resistant bushes. So Resistant bushes are planted to act as wind breaks and shelter belts. And what are shelter belts? Shelter belts are lines of trees or shrubs which are planted to protect an area, especially a field of crops from severe climatic conditions. This conserves and binds the soil together. So wind breaks and shelter belts both are almost same. These are planting usually. Uh, they planting usually made up of uh, one or more rows of trees or shrubs which are planted in such a manner as to provide shelter from the wind and to protect soil from erosion. Then next step is overgrazing reduced by having smaller better quality herbs. So the herds should be selected very wisely which can rely on less food or which consume less plant. In this way we can conserve soil erosion by preserving more plantation. Next is gullies which uh, gullies should be filled with soil and there should be replantation in these gullies. So uh, what are gullies? Gullies are uh, ravine formed by the action of water or the flow of water in um, those areas where rainfall is there and uh, soil is uh, exposed to uh, erosive effects like wind and water and small ravines are formed over there. So gully can be considered as a landform which are created by running water eroding sharply into soil typically on hillside areas. 
Gullies mostly resemble a large ditches or small valleys, but are uh, maybe meters to ten of meters in depth and width. But uh, they, if will not fill these gullies, there will be more soil erosion and landform will be uh, deteriorated. Then next is stone lines laid to trap surface water runoff in soil. So stone lines are like hedge grows which are being practiced in northern mountains. So hedge grows uh, is also being practiced over here but stone lines are more stronger to stop soil erosion and uh, these stone lines will also, will also stop uh, surface runoff water that will reduce soil erosion. We can see all these uh, practices given in figure 4.23 in very much detail. You need to consult your book page number 80 also to go through all these topics which we have discussed over here. Students now will see worksheet and question number one is we need to ad adopt different farming techniques to reduce soil erosion. So identify the given farming methods and write down a brief description of each. Here are some farming techniques which are being used in mountainous areas of Pakistan. These techniques have been discussed in video lesson as well as you can take help from page number 80 to identify and uh, describe these techniques. Like first one is terracing, you will write down the description of terracing as well, then contouring, you will describe it as well, and then last one is strip forming. You will write description of uh, these farming methods. Next one is, uh, question is, study the given figure showing selective cutting method and answer the following question. Write down the description of selective cutting method. Also mention the advantages and disadvantages of this method. So selective cutting method is here. It, is, it has been discussed uh, in video lesson. You will take help from uh, book page number 80 figure 4.21 will be helpful for you to answer this question next question is uh, regeneration of soil is easier in deforested wetter areas like the northern mountains than dry areas of the western mountains and the Balochistan plateau you will enlist the ways of soil protection in northern mountains where there is a better climate and steeper relief and next question is which are the soil protection measures being practiced in western mountains, Balochistan Plateau with a dry climate and unreliable rainfall. You will answer these questions from figure 4.23 page number 80 as well as video lesson. Have a very nice day. Allah Hafiz. May Allah bless you.